In today's video, we're going to be benchmarking the RX 560 Pulse Edition with 4GB of GDDR5 memory. It's a low budget mining graphics card, but how will it perform? Okay, so let's go over the price of this really beautiful card as first. On Amazon it's about $129 for every single piece. But if you go to birdone.com you can always find the RX 560 series builds inside the AMD mining rig builds that I give you as an example. You can always use Amazon for this, but the estimated cost for a 6 GPU build is about $1450. Okay, so there are no heat pipes on this really damn expensive card. There, there is a HDMI connector, there is a DVI connector, a DisplayPort connector, uh, there is a fan and a cheap heatsink uh, from Intel, I guess. Oh, oh yeah, there is also a 6-pin connector. Okay, so let's benchmark this puppy, plug it into our computer and get the results. Okay, so the results of this graphics card we're pretty poorly, so I'm not gonna cover too much details about the card. So we aimed for stability and efficiency. We came to a really nice 45 watts with 12.8 mega assets per second on Ubic. Of course, you guys are gonna tell me, yeah, I got 14 or 15. Yeah, that's all possible. But this card was really unstable going over 2100 megahertz on the memory. But next up, we have Ethereum that also reached about 45 watts maybe sometimes 48, but we came to a 12.8 mega assets per second as well with the same core and memory clock settings. On Zcash we raised up the core to 1300 megahertz and we came to a nice 58 watts and it was doing 140 solutions per second. On Monero we drawed about 55 watts of power with the same core and memory settings as Zcash and we came to a really nice 350 hashes per second. But if you think like, hey, this one is drawing about 55 watts and for example, the RX 570 and 580 are also drawing 110 watts and reaching over 700 hashes per second and the RX 580 even up to 850 hashes per second. So then it's better to buy an RX 580, for example, to replace two little cards with a single big one. Okay, so the graphics card did have a TDP of 75 watts, so if you pull the core to almost its maximum limit, you will reach about 75 watts on this card. But the price range was really low because it was below the $200 mark and we did a BIOS mod and from now on I will also put the BIOS mod right below the corner on every single benchmark that we've done because then you will see that I copied the 7050 strap to the 2000 and the 2250 strap and we increased the maximum frequency from 2000 MHz to 2200 MHz on the memory. Okay, so one more thing, we resetted our clock speeds and we were going for the final test. The 3D mark of this graphics card for 4K gaming. <laughs> oh god, it was so bad. I swear to God. <laughs> this is like the worst benchmark ever. Okay, so we managed to get about 8 or 9 frames per second all over the benchmark. But of course, we're always using blockchain drivers, so the frame limit is always lower than when you're using the latest drivers for AMD cards. But even though this is like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. But can it be even worse? We're gonna benchmark an RX 550 as well. What do you guys think? Is it gonna be worse? Or like a complete disaster. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video today. And see you guys in the next one.